20, 20, 20, 24 hours of garbage day. I want to be debated. Take <laughs> bye. In this hour, we have Lemon Boots Rain Gear, Adam Bozarth, Franklin West, Isfahan, John Toast, Jimmy Franks. Our artist is Dijon Dujour. I'm going, it's, it's hour 24, hour 24 of Garbage Day, 24 terrible hours, and this is the 24th of it. I'm going to tell you what this is about, but first... Yes! You know, I'd just like to think that... I'd really just like... <laughs> I mean, it's just, I really, <laughs> I just, <laughs> the diamonds are hidden. <laughs> now <laughs> then. Oh, <laughs> Shit, oh, I oh, 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 now you got to tell us where the diamonds are hidden. Go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the first year, uh, before, before, for some reason, the first year that we did this, we didn't just figure out that garbage day was the thing that we should call this thing. First year that we did this, our 24 was WikiHow. The second year that we did this, garbage day, the 24th hour was WikiHow. The third year of this, garbage day <laughs> two, 24 terrible hours three, because we're fucking good at things. The third year of this is WikiHow After Dark. (laughs) This is a document put together uh, with some help from Boots Rain Gear and was it A-Meet? Is that right? A-Meet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. uh, So this is a document of the things that you need a WikiHow account for. We are in, God damn it, people. We are in the 24th hour of garbage day um i'm hurting uh and uh we are in a room uh i got jimmy franks i got frank west i got isfahan i got john toast i got jimmy franks i got achilles heels i'm really excited to be in a room with all of them but for a quick moment boots how are you oh i'm actually i'm feeling really good right now cool and i will be for the next 55 minutes and then i will feel terrible Unless All right, fantastic. It- uh, if you don't know what WikiHow is, you've never fucking listened to the F Plus before. And what are you doing here? No, no, we're happy to have you here. Give us money. Um, not give us money. Give the National uh, Network just, of Abortion Funds money. Just take a moment to appreciate the uh, <laughs> the art stream. Very good. It's very yeah. good. I like that your boots sleeping on your top of your horse. So <laughs> I'm I'm just thankful somebody finally captured my likeness. Oh, Albert, go. <laughs> that cat is the life of the party. It's Albert. It's, a, it's Albert's raccoon. No, oh, it is. Sorry, that, that that that. But it's it's from the cat that's the life of the party. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Albert's uh, life of the party. You're right. Uh, You're right. Uh, so yeah. So uh, we're gonna try to get. <laughs> Yay! On our way. Uh, we're gonna see how high that donation total can climb. Uh, but Adam. Yes. Welcome back. And uh, I've found uh, psychics before. But my question to you, uh, Mr. Adam Bozarth, is how can I find a legit psychic? Ooh. Number one, before getting suspicious of your medium slash psychic, remind yourself that their abilities are almost nothing like how the media portrays them. Some are stronger than others. Giving, re- re- giving a reading takes focus on a specific person or group to be able to conjure pictures or videos in their head. Example. When a medium or psychic is talking to the dead, they can't see them with their eyes. The ghost gives off energy and sends pictures to the reader's head. If they have trouble with something like that, getting a name in their head, it's okay. Don't freak out. But don't give them the the answer right away and see if they get it. If they're close, tell them. And it will help them concentrate better. <laughs> yeah. okay. Psychic's psychic. not good. Tell them about yourself. I'll be yeah, a lot more them, <laughs> If they're wrong, give them information about you. If they're wrong, then still like still go through with the charade? Yes. Believe okay. 
Okay, I'm thinking of a Beverly. Um, you mean Heather? Yes! That's <laughs> oh, a hot reading. <laughs> hot reading. Yay. Get all the money just coming in. Nice. Make sure also, uh, Neil and Turtle have been here the whole 24 hours. Oh, yes, so. yes. <laughs> Shout-outs. Shout-outs to those right. troopers. Woo! Number two. Make sure they're asking specific questions, not something that seems 50-50. When questions are general and can relate to most people, it's usually a scam. Demand personal questions. Otherwise, don't bother coming back to them. Demand personal I'm questions. I'm seeing a name that starts answers. between A and Z. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't you know fool. what his name I was, was thinking of my dad, sense. one. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, again, don't give questions out right away. Give them time to focus. Usually, people get too excited and answer for the medium or psychic. For them. It, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. The that's how this whole fucking them. thing works. <laughs> they, they answer for them twice. Uh, it helps people scam others. Let <gasps> them be, yeah, no! it happens. Let them give a few guesses if they're very close like is your sister's name something like saya no sarah why would they ask <laughs> say they're on the right track if they say a very close name on the first try if they do something like <laughs> <laughs> they're on the right track if they're close if they when they shout like... out marco yell polo <laughs> <laughs> When they say, when they say, hey, you say, oh, I don't know. If they do something like, is your sister's name Jennifer, when her name is Sarah, give them a look that says, nope, try again. Just try not to get too excited. Never let them give up on us. <laughs> yeah, like. Try not to get too excited about your reading and shout out all of the answers. That's when people give psychics and mediums a bad name and get scammed. <laughs> Number four, try to get readings from mediums or, mediums or psychics who work for companies like California Psychic. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the website. This looks like a legitimate uh, CaliforniaPsychics.com. Looks super legitimate. Like nothing I, oh, about man. this looks like a you fucking know, scam at all. I remember the California Psychic Raisins when I was a kid. I love those commercials. <laughs> Look, if, if they were... I heard it through your mind. <laughs> I heard it through your mind. Uh, the website, the website, like has these, like, because there's like pictures of the psychics, and then there's like the, like, you know, like, uh, like their price, and then like a call line. So it looks like one of those, uh, you know, like fifty-year-old divorced women in the California suburbs want to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> so the stock, the stock photo people really look like they enjoyed the experience, though. They do, yeah. On the California. <laughs> got a couple of warnings for you oh no giving readings include pressure so don't stress out the person who is <laughs> reading you <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, yep. what? no no yeah, we're good we're good we're good hey uh okay so a couple things uh want to give a shout out to uh, a couple people, uh, well, a lot of people here deserve, uh, shout outs. Jesus! You assholes aren't getting your shout outs because you keep donating. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> How dare you? Um, uh, uh, yeah, but I want to uh, specifically call out, uh, public enemy number six, uh, no legus, uh, Faustian fool, Yavu Sultan Slim and Kotep, uh, who have been here the entire time. Also turbo saxophonic delight, uh, who have been, uh, here with the stream the whole time. Uh, Man, uh, awesome. Kotep has been, has made, uh, all of those, uh, plushy art, the things that were, uh, in the stream a couple hours ago. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's more than I've been. And Neil's. Uh, and Neil. Oh, and Neil. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so uh, here we are. Oh fuck! We did the fifteen thousand dollar mark. We did right. the fifteen thousand dollar mark. Okay. And actually, the this the was. Ultimate, uh... The dog's crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why the dog's crying. It's so happy. So many women are going to get the help they need. Tears of joy. <laughs> Still upset about that Ernest Klein bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Good. donating. Um, so actually, it was it was at the uh, fifteen hundred dollar mark that I wanted to do this specific incentive. So uh, last year uh, we did um, something that was. Uh, uh, okay, so here we go. I'm going to throw that in the bottom left. Okay, so we were doing something in the donation incentives uh, last year, which was uh, that uh, through a combination of the uh, art of uh, Sanguinary Novel and the craftsmanship of Jimmy Franks, uh, we made uh, uh, fetishes. Uh, it was the F plus your own fetishes. Uh, you can get either a foot fetishist fetish or a car fetish for being a top donator. Um, that process, because I believe Jimmy Franks, you actually like literally melted plastic yeah, off of like, existing and, bubble yeah, cards. They, they were they were handcrafted. <laughs> they were made with love, bespoke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it burned the skin off my hands. And it burned oh. the skin off oh, his no, hands. Still see uh, now. <laughs> He can get away with dropping a bank. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of a bunch of uh, a bunch of text messages uh, swearing about that process uh, and saying, "Lemon, I I don't want to do this again." Uh, now you're going to do this again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, times have changed. Uh, production methods have uh, been modernized, and I, I think that we can uh, we can bring a new uh, a new uh, action fetish to the collection this year. Great. So, uh, so we are going to be, I'm going to put it up in the stream. Uh, don't, uh, don't donate against this until I have it up in the stream. Uh, but we are going to do as many as 12, um, mm -hmm. of, uh, similarly, should we give it away? Do you want to say what it is? Should we keep no, it a secret? No, you're just going to have to wait and see when it shows up in your mailbox. And the thing is, is that like, yes, of course we're talking about like a, a, you know, we're talking about a dollar figure. We're talking about something where we're saying you have to trust us, except for look at those fucking images. Those fucking images are beautiful. Yeah, this, this I've got some of them uh, yeah. sitting in my office right now and they're going to be like of this caliber. Yeah. So, uh, I will say, next... I will say this. I will say that it is inspired by the subject of a, uh, a regular episode of the show that has it been is released. definitely inspired by a subject that has been the main thing that the F plus Twitter account gets tweeted at the most. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so we've got, uh, we've got as many as 12 uh, of these toys available uh, for any donation of $150 or more. I'm going to put that up the stream again. Uh, please don't uh, throw that donation up until I have that up on the stream. Um, and while I'm doing that, um, we've got some information on how to identify a credible psychic, but we kind of covered that. So, uh, <laughs> oh, somebody wake Jack Jack up for the music. <laughs> Okay, apparently we missed a whole bunch of videos in the middle. It was just playing the same first one. But that's the final video. <laughs> oh, yeah! God. oh, shit. Yeah! Oh, no. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. I Once love again, it. Uh, at some point after the stream, thefpl.us, uh, we'll have a bunch of assets, like you know, the drawings and the videos and uh, all of the fun stuff. Uh, but while I'm working on this specific thing, Boots! Yeah, I just, I just coded shit. <laughs> 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 on hour 24 of this by which i mean jimmy franks yes. <laughs> no, no, I, i'm going i'm ready i'm ready i got it I okay got it. okay i'm ready boots, buddy. Boots, 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 yeah. Boots. Yeah, yeah. as as the uh in my mind the foremost uh, muse fan that i know yeah <laughs> somebody as somebody as who as somebody loves who muse. As somebody who tolerates muse a bit <laughs> can you tell me how to be a muse fan yeah, yeah i could do that uh, how to be a Muse fan. <clears throat> if you have friends who like the British prog rock band Muse and you want to know more, read this guide. Even if you know Muse already and are familiar with their style, this guide will help you get familiar with them and appreciate their band. Step yeah, number you know one. Muse fans are so stingy with the music. Forget anything you've already heard about the band. Every <laughs> album has its own style and Muse is a band with multiple facets. Whatever you have heard earlier, positive or negative, cannot take everything into account. And so, That's definitely not something you'd ever say about a band where the, the consensus was they suck. <laughs> um, 
And so the only way to truly appreciate the music is to understand yourself of what that music is about. Step number two to being a Muse fan, buy each of their albums to make sure you catch every facet of this band. <laughs> Before enjoying the musical nirvana that is listening to Muse. Oh, God. <laughs> Go. Don't do that. Uh, make sure you are in a comfortable place where you won't be interrupted while you are listening to the album. If you cannot Mother buy the CDs room. and have to buy on iTunes, always buy full albums. Muse is great as single songs, but cannot reach its full potential if not listened in order by album interrupt uninterrupted. Make sure that you have good speakers or headphones. Don't just listen to the music. Impregnate yourself with it. No. Yeah, don't listen to the music. <laughs> Stick it up your hoo-hoo. <laughs> and appreciate every sound and instrument. And then finally, step number five, because we're skipping some crappy steps. Twilight has featured three Muse songs. <laughs> yes, the movie Twilight, or the movie series Twilight, I don't know. Supermassive Black Hole, a remix of I Belong to You, and Neutron Star Collision, in parentheses, Love is Forever. If you like Twilight, fine. If you like Muse, that's awesome. But if you, o- <laughs> but if you only like Muse because they are associated with Twilight... And don't and don't listen to any songs other than those three. Then don't bother becoming a Muse fan because you will never fully appreciate the awesomeness of Muse. What fucking gatekeeping! <laughs> <laughs> All right, as mentioned, I am now throwing it uh, up in the uh, uh, donation incentives. Uh, Jimmy Frank said, "As many as twelve. Uh, I understand that they're a pain in the ass to make." So, so make this a pain in the ass for Jimmy Franks. One hundred fifty dollars. Uh, Jimmy Franks will send you a toy, uh, and it's a cool toy. I've seen it. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dijon's interpretation is a Kinder surprise full of like a ball gag and like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why they aren't allowed in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> Too sexy. Uh, hey, uh, Achilles. Yeah. How do I talk to a teenager I like? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is close to the thing that he submitted that got him in here in the first place. <laughs> 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 Woo! Jack Heek, we're going to get you a toy. Woo! Oh, no. Wow. Wow. That might be Jackie K. <laughs> Jackie Jack- K. I, 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 no, it's Jack Heek. At least one Jack- of the first Jack- 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 I, I can't process everything that's happening. Yes. There's so many good gifts happening here. I really like the pig cop uh, from Duke Nukem there in the back. The only thing that added to it. Even woman in the background and like Morticia's flying through the sky. I can't believe that Boots like recoded the Hanson fucking video server. Um, uh, so yeah, I was... uh, Imong or Imong G, Jackie K, and Samurai Hitman have all. Uh, Oh my all donated God. over $150. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Are we going <laughs> Are we going to hit that 169 69 69? Oh, man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. <laughs> Great. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just <laughs> Oh, okay. I just saw that Lesbiathan missed you saying Lesbiathan. Yes. Her, <laughs> oh, internet, no. her internet actually crashed. Uh, oh my god! Somebody clipped it though, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Quick, make him read another Ernest Klein poem. Because <laughs> I did tweet her <laughs> Lesbiathan. <laughs> okay. I know I know we probably need to move on, but in the GIF, I really like the spinning <laughs> GIF like word art that just says punk stuff and it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's okay. I think all I think that was all keeping me from getting on a watch list. But here I go. How to talk to a teenager you like? Always fret about talking to a teenager you like. No, Never I don't af- like any of them. No, I don't. Mm, no. Ever afraid you'll embarrass yourself? Take a deep <laughs> breath and follow these steps to get to talk to a teenager you like. One, first and foremost, smile. Smiling will show that you're comfortable being around them, even if you're not, and it'll keep you from looking like a stalker, (laughs) which is probably every teenager's worst nightmare. 
Even simply smiling can show that you're friendly <laughs> and open to talk. If you are glowering, they will probably avoid you. Uh, yes, teenagers hate angsty people. <laughs> I've yeah. my troubles. <laughs> they love friendly adults. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to say hello if you see them in the hall or walk by them in class. Uh, saying hello establishes a level of familiarity. It will make it easier <laughs> when you talk to them in more detail one day. Try to give a quick compliment once or twice, or ask if you can sit next to them if you see them sitting alone. These small nice acts tits. of kindness. Oops. Huh? Nice tits. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to you, not about the earth. Oh, yeah. This is, so small acts of... this is so awkwardly written. I think it's from a fellow teenager. Yeah. Yeah, Why probably. Why are just telling each other how to talk to each other? That's what they do. Oh. They just, that's, that's well, you just asked why WikiHow. Yeah. True. <laughs> it, it, that is a level of awkwardness only a teen can truly aspire to. So. Did anyone ever try to look into... I'm just going to do name cheap for WikiY. I think I actually have a plan. WikiY? Yeah. Oh, no. No, I actually think... I think if I can find a good domain for WikiY... Uh, I think I can actually scrape WikiHow and then just ask a question about every WikiHow article, which is why do you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go... I'm going to skip down. Uh, easing into topics that interest them. It's good to talk about about them, but it starts to get creepy after a while if you're just asking a lot of personal questions. Oh, yeah, so you want to start getting creepy. <laughs> where, do you, where, do you, where do you live? How do you walk home? How long have you been a teen? How long have you been a teen? How long have you Um, five years. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> six. Cool. Uh, try to balance talking about them and you. Talk about topics of their interest. Talk about those subjects in small relations to yourself, such as, oh, I like that too, or I've always wanted to do that, or mm -hmm. share a frivolous anecdote. Oh, <laughs> this will let them know that you have similarities to them. If you do have a different opinion, see if you can blend it together or just let it go. Stay open-minded to different perspectives. <clears throat> yeah! Oh, we had 666 for a second there. Punk <laughs> stuff. Hmm. Skip just in case you thought my... Intentions might be pure. I'll talk about the next one. Keep the conversation okay. in a slow pace. Rapid fire comments and questions frankly make your partner question your motives. Mm. Sarcasm is fine if it's aimed at them, but get a feel of their sense of humor before teasing too much. <laughs> Don't just jump in front of the teenagers and start asking them a bunch of questions about themselves. <laughs> you can be sarcastic as long as you make it personal. It's true. <laughs> Because you want to come off as a potential love interest, not as another bro. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, bro. Uh, so, Seven, keep talking over time. Your interaction doesn't have to be limited to one lengthy conversation. Feel free to divvy up your interactions into smaller discussions here and there. If there's chemistry and they're interested in talking to you, those smaller conversations will grow into deeper ones. Oh, I think everyone here is good at keep continuing to talk over time. <laughs> <laughs> also continuing to talk over other people. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Norm. Wait, is there a uh, Jimmy Carr laugh in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Carr's been in there for a while. Uh, so here's a question, uh, domain-wise. Uh, wikiy.life uh, wikiy.solutions, uh, wikiy.is, or wikiy.me. Is there a wikiy.woo? Wikiy.me is pretty powerful. <laughs> is there a wikiy, wikiy, wiki, wiki, wild? wild? Yes. <laughs> wiki, wiki, yes. Wiki, wiki, wiki. <laughs> 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 right. uh, or wikiy.page. No, I think you're right. I think wikiy.me. Uh, I'm going to do that. And uh, wikiy.me. I think we'll just pretty see. Good. I mean, genuinely, it might be one of those where I buy the domain and forget to make it. But it also might not be that. But, also, like, but anyway, also, um... why me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, Frank West. Yes. How do I befriend foreigners? <laughs> 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 Don't be Brett Norch. <laughs> well, I'm a bit of a... 
I'm a bit of a foreigner expert and a friend expert. Just ask everybody. Uh, <laughs> Here are some steps to learn how to become friends with foreigners. One, locate the foreigner. <laughs> Two, give them a warm, like, welcoming smile and eye contact. This can reassure them. It can. It probably won't. Three, if they have noticed your warmth, they could move over to where you are. This is how to befriend a cat, actually. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is a cat. Foreigners are sometimes moths. You don't know that. <laughs> You can then start a conversation. You can then start a conversation normally with "hello" in any language. Because <laughs> there, I speak two languages: English and foreign. <laughs> and foreign. Usually, yeah. people respond to the word "hello." If the John's picture is terrifying me. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! I was doing a scary boy. No, it's Jesus. just me. It's just me making friends with teens. <laughs> <laughs> If they respond, then be prepared for an accent. <laughs> Listen very carefully to what how they say. I, how do I prepare myself for an accent? <laughs> when they talk with can. an accent, don't jump just, back and go, Bleh. Yeah, just breathe. <laughs> Ew! Oh. Ew. <laughs> well, Holy I mean, shit, some kind of crazy mouth noises. If, if, if this podcast... Not make it about you. If this podcast is nothing line, else... It's, uh-huh. And you guys talk like that 24-7, huh? <laughs> <laughs> If this podcast is nothing else, it's training for how to deal with accents. <laughs> so I think I'm good. <laughs> Terrible. Prepare. Listen very carefully to what they say, and even lip read. Making them repeat words over and over could make them feel uncomfortable, and you just as much. When speaking, be very clear with pronunciation and don't mumble. Sure. This will not seem patronizing at all. This then makes it easier (laughs) for them to understand. (laughs) Are you a terrorist? (laughs) Can I speak to your manager? (laughs) (laughs) All right, mate. I'm off to shop. Do you want to come? Equals no. Instead, oh wait, sorry, I sh- and I read that. All right, mate, I'm off to shop. Do you want to come? No, no. Instead, hello, how are you? I'm going to the shop. Do you want to come? Just talk like Microsoft <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Number six. Hello. Ask them where they are from. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe on the eighth date. And then when they say, I'm from a town in America, don't say, no, where are you really from? <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, where are you foreignly from? I mean, where are we going to send you back to? <laughs> where, so, so where, <laughs> where were you born? M- Michigan? Is that in Europe? or? <laughs> you can then ask them about their culture, about their country and what their culture is like in comparison to the one they are in now you see here in america we we eat with the fork you all have forks in europe (laughs) see if you have any common interests this can help greatly eg video games yeah 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 Yeah. uh i think i think wiki house should just go ahead and just a pat append eg video games to like literally everything (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> treat them like any other person this doesn't mean to run up and hug them straight away maybe yeah. after your friends sure show them respect and good morals hello i'm a good person where are you from oh they're cool let's hug friends let me look do at they, your mouth do they while have you're video talking. games at meepos <laughs> <laughs> Talking about you, of course. <laughs> Goes in. You guys see Perfect Strangers was a sitcom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's hey, they got super, Hulu. Super, yeah. Well, but if you had Hulu, you've got better shit on there than Perfect Strangers, right? No. <laughs> Nothing they? better than Perfect Strangers. Uh, At this point, more people probably know it from the oh, from Mumbai. <laughs> Just to say, at this point, more people probably know it from like the Rhythm Flash game online. Then, <laughs> anyways, uh, say uh, say Jimmy Franks. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm a I'm a fun I'm a fun guy I'm a I'm a yeah. party kind of guy. For sure. Uh, but uh, my question to you, uh, Mr. Jimmy Franks, is uh, how do I throw myself a party? <laughs> how to throw yourself a party? <laughs> Have you ever wanted to throw yourself a party? Wondering how? Then this article is for you. Part one, beforehand. One, prepare ahead of time. It's easy to throw yourself a party, but it's still a good idea to plan ahead. Two, find out a time when everyone's going to be out of the house, preferably for at least an hour so that you don't have too much chaos. Then you can continue. Three, go to Amazon and order lube. Oh, wait, no, that's a different kind of party. (laughs) Three, go on to YouTube and find every party song you like. Put them all into a playlist. Make sure you put it in four or five A's in front of the name party. So the playlist will be at the top of the YouTube list. You should have at least 20 songs on your playlist. Go to party, 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 party for your party. Uh, party. Uh, have a throw yourself a surprise, your own surprise party. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah! whatever you like. Oh, there's my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> That one. And uh, four, find out what you're going to do for dinner. One small cheese pizza is usually the cheapest if you're doing delivery. Mini pizzas also taste really good. They only take about 10 minutes to heat up in the oven. You know what doesn't taste good Party. is the pizza pictured in this article. <laughs> Was that hot dogs and pickles? Ugh. Part two, Delicious. decorations. <laughs> one, scavenge your house for balloons. <laughs> two, make a few fun posters to take a, tape up on the walls. Three, don't put out anything too difficult to clean up. You should be able to take the decorations <laughs> down in a few minutes. <laughs> Why is he hiding this party from people? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I need the uh... bushel. <laughs> Like, do you need help getting out? Like, okay. Uh, don't put need- candles unless you have permission from an adult. If you do put candles out, put them in a reasonable place where they won't get knocked over. Part three, party time. Oh, yeah. One, get a yeah. And play the playlist really loud. Not loud I think enough I might get laid after it. this party. <laughs> Not loud enough that your neighbors can hear it. Because remember, this is a secret party. <laughs> no one else can know about it. No one else can know about it. <laughs> <laughs> just loud enough that it is a fun party part four after the party clean up all the trash and decorations if your parents ask you why they walked into loud music weird decor and dancing tell them that you had a party by yourself <laughs> they will be so upset say. yeah they'll just be like oh god we gotta help our kid please party <laughs> stop drawing this thing it's scaring me oh i like it party. Party. if you get in trouble yeah, please party. Going. Yes. he's got a little noisemaker that's fun <laughs> he's that's having fun i guess it's not so bad. <laughs> and uh, i want to have a party please. by myself with him anyways <laughs> if you get in trouble ask your parents what you did that they didn't like next time you throw a party Keep those things in mind and don't do them. <laughs> Backstory. <laughs> Practice party. Uh, hey, Portex. Yeah. How do I find a volcano? <laughs> How do you find a volcano? <laughs> this is science in Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> don't know why it says that under it, but it does. Science, science in Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wait, wait. Almost, almost. Let's try it again. All right, I'll cut you in. One, two, three. Science in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That was well, loud enough. Much I couldn't do it. No, real, 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 quick, real quick, real quick, real uh, quick, because we're uh, at the precipice of hitting uh, 16, 9, 69, 69. The next person, if they if they do the, uh, the incentive of the figure and get us to that number, I'll also throw in a, a, a Jimmy Frank's shitty comics cavalcade. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Also, I'm really uh, genuinely tempted to just fucking kill the stream at once. <laughs> 69, 69, 69. Don't you dare. You so much more wiki how to read. I mean, uh, don't. I get the incentive, but don't. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I don't. know. I know. Put, uh, step one, travel to Process. Hawaii and search for the volcano. <laughs> just put your hand up t- above your eyes and look around. <laughs> that wily volcano will be hiding behind me. You are you are smart for science, but the volcano is near. Mm-hmm. Okay, search for it quickly as fast as you can, or it will explode. And you cannot be smart if there's too much magma. And you cannot identify the volcano anymore. Oh shit! I was looking for a volcano and it blew up. Damn it! There's a hole there. Uh, step two, find an old volcano. I guess so it can't run away. So old that you can identify the volcano easily. 
<laughs> Check the hot steam. <laughs> Keep identifying, then you're smart for science. Things you'll need. Gloves for mountain climbing, boots for easy, useful climbing. Okay. I do love to climb boots. So Hey, uh, that. what's up, virgins? Uh, mm. My wiki how, my secret wiki how, my secret login only wiki how. Oh, no. I'm so excited. I didn't know this existed until this oh, morning. No. Until this morning, whatever this is. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is called How to Impress a Real Woman. Okay. <laughs> you ever seen a real woman? <laughs> you ever seen a real woman? A woman who can't stand up for herself? Sophisticated and smart. Many people have trouble expressing impressing real women. So these tips should help. First buy Ernest Klein's book and then read us poem. <laughs> Just do not know how that word is pluralized. Number one, dress classy. A woman likes a man <laughs> a woman. Who, who has a sense of style. A woman likes the man who has a sense of style. <laughs> a woman likes a man who has a sense of style. <laughs> a likes a sense of style. <laughs> um, uh, step number two, be mature. Try not to say something dumb like uh, stupid puns or sexual jokes. Step number Toast. three, be complimenting. What? A uh, complimenter on how she looks, saying things like, mm, nice handbag. <laughs> or nice dress. Nice dress. <laughs> nice cake that you're baking, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm too impressed. I said nice dress. <laughs> <laughs> nice dress. Finger gun. Uh, step four. Uh, pff, and this, I don't know why this is even a step, but have a conversation with her. Why? <laughs> Uh, women are not as people say. They enjoy <laughs> have conversation. <laughs> what Contrary, we we all thought we all thought all of us thought that women were nonverbal. Turns out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one's ever talked to me. Capable <laughs> of communicating. Yeah, you know that old stereotype about women that they hate to talk. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, it's In my it does keep going. <laughs> Uh, they don't just talk and leave no room for you to join. Uh, the good things to talk Ooh. about are life and work. Uh, yep. <laughs> Politics and religion, got it. Uh, number five, in a club, ask her to dance. Uh, no matter the age, women love to dance. Don't do a slow dance. Uh, do something fun and wild. Don't take it personally if she says no. Another way of approaching her is to buy her a drink. This will spark conversation. If she says she's married, don't keep trying. Here's some tips. <laughs> if you see that she does not want to kiss you, then don't try. Yeah. Never seem desperate. That's not very attractive. Don't get sexual right off the bat. Smile and stay optimistic. Put your phone on vibrate and don't answer it. Don't say negative things about women or any other groups because your opinions could get you in trouble. And stay away from <laughs> politics. A political dispute when you first meet because you have not had time to... <gasps> stay away from politics. A political dispute when you first meet because you have had not had time to bond and see other things about each other. Relevant to the stream. <laughs> poorly made. <laughs> yeah. I'm Sandal Thief. Ca- <gasps> 166969. That's yes. pretty good. Oh, pretty shit. Good. Yeah, I like the coordination from the chat. This is like a very Twitch Plays Pokemon style yeah. game they got to do now because they have to make sure they don't donate more than. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. <laughs> There's like um, a separate Discord that they're all just discussing. We <laughs> got a 300 off. We are exactly two figurines away. <laughs> <laughs> it's the meta game, baby. Um, okay. Uh, next up, um, time are we at? Who gives a shit? Uh, French toast, John yes. toast, Mr. John toast. Yes. How do I turn my love, my love for horses, into profit? <laughs> oh, I thought I was reading a different one. Oh, what did you think you were reading? I thought uh, I was going both to read. Are, the- both are good. <laughs> I thought I was going to read the very important uh, topic of how to chew gum during laser tech. <laughs> oh, uh, shit, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. You can choose whichever one you like. 
I mean, you, you taught us all how to talk to women, but I think this is much more important. Okay. <laughs> this will impress them for sure. <laughs> okay. How to That's chew good. gum during laser tag. Method one, chewing the gum. Number one, <laughs> keep moving. You can walk around while chewing and no one will notice. It is, after all, a dark room. Most people won't care if you're chewing gum, so just move around freely. <laughs> just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Guys, is somebody <laughs> chewing gum in here? <laughs> no, no. I got you for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, look at where the referee is going. If they are heading towards you, hide your gum in the bottom of your mouth. <laughs> just so running just towards you. Referees don't usually uh, don't really talk to you, and you can safely go by them. If there are cameras in the laser armor, don't chew gum. The referees will catch you. <laughs> Number three, keep away from windows. Usually in laser tag, people watch through windows. These windows have lights, which can point out that you are chewing gum. Relax if someone sees you. Just quickly run through the maze. Number four, if the referee catches you chewing gum, here are some things to say. Uh, sorry, I didn't know we weren't allowed to chew gum. Uh, I'm not chewing gum, it's just a cough drop. Or, if you are 20 feet away, calmly walk away as if you didn't hear them. <laughs> There's also a whole thing about how to blow bubbles properly during the laser tag battle. Yes, <laughs> yes which I was already reading. Blowing bubbles. <laughs> Number one. Unless we chew gum, we blow bubbles. Usually when we chew gum, we blow bubbles. Blowing bubbles is easy during laser tag if you do it correctly. Number two. Use the sneak method. When someone tags you, put your tongue through the gum and run. Blow into the bubble while you are running and pop it as soon as you see someone. It is easy to do laser tag. Do as laser tag arenas are huge. Whoa, <laughs> so you're using bu uh, uh, bubble gum bubbles as like a communication method? <laughs> yes. Okay, next level, dude. You tap your helmet and blow the bubble at certain frequencies. <laughs> if you make it big enough, you can fly away, actually. In a <laughs> Number three, if a kid catches you in the middle of a huge bubble, say, say I'm not. It fits in the <laughs> Yeah! Kids you in a huge bubble, say, I'm chewing gum. Kids generally won't tell. If they do, offer them a piece if you have one, or just say, I thought we were allowed to. Kids will probably not do it after that. Uh, let's see. Number five. Okay, I'll just kind of go through. Number five. Bubbles can also be used as distractions. <laughs> hmm? What was that? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to shoot the laser with the bubble. Probably nothing. Uh, next, blow a bubble, then blow a bubble within a bubble. Pop both really loud and run. People will think someone is coming, and you can run away or tag them for points. Just don't let them know you blew a bubble. <laughs> um, and last one, try doing it with a friend. Chewing gum during laser tag is a risk, but a fun one if pulled off correctly. Doing it with a friend can help you plan it out. I was living on the edge. <laughs> Here, take my gum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great. Uh, uh, shit. Okay, sorry. Um, where was I going to? Oh, yes. Um, uh, horses. So, so, well, yeah, you're right. 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 Poor tax. Yeah. How do I turn my love for horses into profit? Have a love of horses, but don't know how to use it to your advantage. <laughs> By the way, we are literally exactly $150 away from $169.69. <laughs> Ash toe. Ash toe. <laughs> oh, Ash toe Ash finished it off toe. last year, right? Ash toe. Ash toe. <laughs> Have a love of horses, but don't know how to use it to your advantage. It's always a disadvantage. We've got you covered. There's some ideas on how to make money using your passion. Horses! Ash Just... <laughs> <laughs> horses! Um... So method one is writing instructor. One way to turn your love for horses into a profit is to be a writing instructor. If you have your own farm, <laughs> which, <laughs> no, where's that article at? <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. I need a salute. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah! Oh my. <laughs> Party. Hello. <laughs> Oh, okay, yes. just in case the oh, final gosh. few minutes of this will actually be a separate fundraiser. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Booth promised to go yes. hog wild on the soundboard once we got here. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes. Hi. Oh. Yes. Fuck it, I want to hear this again. Oh. Shut up.
Hi. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 24 hours of garbage day. I want to be debated. Uh, I'm going my... Room this hour, we have Lemon, <laughs> Rain Gear, <laughs> Adam Ozarth, Franklin West, Isfahan, wait, John what? Toast, oh, wait, Isfahan <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Franks, Achilles Heelys. Our artist is Dijon Dujour. His reading of ah. Dijon, <laughs> His reading of Dijon Dujour is entirely the Yay! reason that I was like, I was like, he has to be Yay! last. <laughs> Yay! Also, and also, you're Yay. good. Yay! <laughs> uh, were we saying some bullshit about horses? <laughs> yeah, we some bullshit. That's what matters. Party! <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> yes. So, anyway, the, the sec- let's just skip to the second method, which is horsey jobs. Yay! Uh, what? What? <laughs> Yeah. Is that like horse? Fair... Is like, is like horse? Was it horse ebooks? Horse ebooks. <laughs> yes. Horse e jobs. A farrier vet, equine surgeon, and equine dentist are all people who work with horses on a day to day basis. You can go to college and major major in horsey things to yes. learn about things like this. <laughs> Tips: If none of those work, keep looking around and check some horsey friends magazines or people at your local barn. Your local barn for more ideas on how to earn money. Warnings. Be careful of liability. I might greater man. Things. <laughs> Be careful of things greater than liability. Oh man. Uh oh, Adam. My God. Adam? Yeah. I find you an amusing guy. I find you Thank someone you. who amuses me. <laughs> okay. Isn't that a good compliment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like gonna that. take it personally like Joe Pesci does, but the... <laughs> But so I anyway, uh, yeah, you amuse me, and uh, what I would like to know from you is, how do I amuse myself with electronics? <laughs> <laughs> Here are some cool things you could do with computers. If you are looking for something specific, I would try another article <laughs> for Windows. <laughs> um, All right, here's an article. Uh, maybe go somewhere else. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Command prompt is command. So you move your mouse to start button and then you click it. And so step number two in the in the search box type command prompt, but don't use the quotation marks. Uh, and step three, wait for the item to appear that says command prop and, and then open it. And then this should take you to a window with a black background. And then type echo hi and then you put in your name and then hit enter. And then, hey, look what you did. You can set up similar commands for a command prompt. Yay! Very amusing. Dinner, 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 dinner. That's amusing. Uh, just oh. for uh, the people in the actual recording right now, uh, the Discord stream thing seems to have crashed. Uh, we've, uh, oh, no. uh, we've reached our limit of figurines. Okay, we, wow. we have reached our limit of figurines. Fantastic. Oh my god, um, Red, it's 17, Oh 000. man. Oh, and there's a wiki how of the fuck. Oh, of the I, dark love, yeah, I love this dragon. podcast so much. Wiki dragon. Oh, so good. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, donation incentive uh, out of um, the thing, uh, but uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, 17,000. Jesus. Uh, and also, again, it is it is a cool toy. I promise it's a cool toy. Um. <laughs> hey lemon would you say that it's fair to give me exactly 30 dollars and 31 cent- god damn it sorry add 420 to that <laughs> <laughs> sorry you were what was your question um if it was fair to give me 30 dollars and 31 cents for the cost of the video games i bought but now i think it should be 34 dollars and uh, fifty-one cents. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, yes, uh, I will. Yes, I. Yes, I. I will. I will pay whatever money you need. Make it happen for sure. <laughs> to make that happen. <laughs> um, okay, so where are we? Uh, where are we going? Uh, we do have a uh, a little closer here, but uh, before we get to the closer. Um, I think that I want to tell you how to cheat on a Scantron test. <laughs> uh, okay, test scoring machines, scanning, testing forms to mark incorrect answers wrong. If anything other than a right answer appears, that answer is marked wrong. 
Yeah, uh, Scantron. Yeah, that is how that works. Yeah, if nothing has been marked at all in a given space and your answer has been marked wrong, the only sure way to pass Scantron test is to mark the correct answers. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, okay, so, uh, theoretically, various cheats or hacks have been used to successfully... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Method number one, messing with the bubbles. Make sure your <laughs> test passes the human examination. If any of the following methods actually work, but you've marked every answer B, the test administrator is still going to throw out your test. Every Scantron test is examined by the person and run through the testing machine. To do this correctly, you need to both pass the eye test, making your test look as authentic as possible, because it's not look like it's not like the teachers are just like wanting to get home and drink. They're just <laughs> that's not a situation. Um no. And fool the machine into failing to make mark the wrong answers. Okay, so first of all, avoid obviously dumb cheating pitfalls, like only marking one column of answers for making your blurry answers appear bubble, appear uh, super obvious and on every question. If you try to do this on every question, you're going to fail. No doubt about it. Uh, it's the worst you can do is guess on every answer. Guess randomly. Make your test look as if you've given an honest effort. So how to cheat on a Scantron test is fucking fail. (laughs) (laughs) Fail the test. You'll never get caught. It's be more work than studying for the test. Uh, Apply chapstick over the uh, the answers you've marked. Uh, Theoretically, (laughs) greasing your answer with chapstick will confuse the machine. Theoretically, of course. It also Uh, confuses the teachers who get you doing this. Uh, reportedly, this works up to 25% of the time. Uh-huh. Uh, though some test administrators report that it's an unsuccessful method of fooling the machine. Uh, and there's some methods there. But anyway, smear the mark. Some cheaters think blurring the pencil mark is somewhere between fully mark and blank will confuse the machine. God damn it, no! It's a fucking, hey, computers are binary, you goddamn idiots! It's confused. <laughs> what is love? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, draw a small dot in the middle of an answer and then shade lightly around uh, in the other answer bubbles smear everything around with your fingers Um, the idea is to draw lines in the answer bubbles some cheaters think that Fuck that. Uh, We can mess with the lines in the form. Color the black lines on the left to the answer bubbles right? Or erase the lines (laughs) there is no test I do not understand the lot. <laughs> hey, Bo. Dipshit detected. Destroy. Uh, Destroy. You, you can just cut out the big black square. <laughs> Another way to cheat in a Scantron test is don't turn in one. <laughs> None of your answers will be marked wrong. <laughs> you can't fail the test if you don't turn it in. Test. <laughs> Cash works, too. Um, Cash will confuse the uh, Oh, I got an idea. Mark your test as the answer key. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so this one was actually a real article. I just found it so funny I put it in. <laughs> this one's an actual live article, not a, not, not one my, up for my, review. My first name is correct. My last name is answered. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right. It's not up for review. You can go to uh, wikiao.com slash cheat on a Scantron test <laughs> and learn all of these uh, fucking... Jesus, God damn it. Uh, okay, so uh, all of you uh, in this Discord here, I want you to go ahead and look into the... Um, look under your uh, seats. Look under your seats. Uh, wow! First of all, uh, J.W. Friedman wow, mentioned he that he's... Still. Oh my God, you got me my pajamas that I left there last night. <laughs> yeah, uh, they... Uh, okay, I did wash them. They don't look washed. <laughs> But I washed them three times, and that's just sort of the way they came out. I mean, I can they never understand. look washed. Frank's natural. I don't understand must. how they're stained purple <laughs> on the inside. Uh, before we do this, bit, I want to say that uh, J.W. Friedman um, said that if we broke 15,000, uh, then uh, he's going to do a cover of Mbop in the style of, in, of Elliot Smith. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what a, what a, like, stunningly beautiful and wonderful J.W. Freeman. Oh god! He's <laughs> just as dumb as the rest of us. God damn it! You don't even have to pay for that shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not already only, happening. 
This is not only the best podcast that's ever existed, it's the best thing that's ever existed. <laughs> um, okay, so I want you to look there at the stream. Uh, and uh, you'll see the uh, names down the side, okay? So we're going to tag off uh, one by one, scroll down to the bottom of the document, uh, your friends for the hour, uh, rotating one by one. Uh, we have a list of titles, wiki or a list of titles of wiki articles people want written for them, okay? Oh, my God. How to meet famous authors. How to be a child author. How to be a teen author. How to gain respect from an authoritarian teacher. How to trick your teacher. <laughs> uh, how to play hot for teacher. <laughs> Dear. Those are all the same answer. How to cope with unwanted attention from older boys. <laughs> how to repel unwanted flirtations. Oh, sorry, I fucked up at the beginning, didn't I? <laughs> yep. God damn it. How to reduce unwanted emails. How to get rid of an unwanted house guest. How to remove unwanted scratches from your sunglasses. How to remove wanted scratches from your sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> How to fix broken sunglasses. How to escape the sun, blood. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's everywhere. Ah, shit, it's out there. How to track the sun. <laughs> <laughs> how to treat sunburns <laughs> how to improve sunday school how to teach sunday school class requesting to... it like on sunday morning <laughs> <laughs> please tell me how to create lesson plans for sunday school how to make <laughs> go how to make a sunday school budget <laughs> And I think this one has to do with that one. How to claim bankruptcy. Oh, this is, this, oh, this is a story. This whole thing is one single threaded story. Oh, this is one person's day. <laughs> yes. Like, oh, yes. yes. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see the lines. I like it. Yep. How to become bankrupt. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, shit. Sorry. Uh, become bankrupt. How to erase bankruptcy. How to report bankruptcy fraud. <laughs> How to become a fraud investigator. <laughs> She's like, that didn't work. Maybe this one. <laughs> How to spot organized crime. How to start organized crime. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can I talk to you? I need some tips. Hey, I don't, I don't, what's, what's a crime? I see I what know. you're doing. I see you, baby. Committing those crimes. <laughs> How to hide your identity. How to steal someone else's identity. <laughs> How Over. to scam people. How to scam on Counter-Strike. <laughs> How to get unbanned from Steam? <laughs> <laughs> How to choose a new game console? How to boost gamer score on the Xbox 360? Oof. Oh shit! <laughs> How to identify video game addiction? <laughs> How to break any addiction? I keep smoking without getting addicted. Uh, How to? Anonymous Pacific. Okay. How to stop smoking with no drawbacks. Quit smoking in weeks. <laughs> how to stop smoking in five days. I need to one up that guy. <laughs> Ooh, how to use hypnotherapy to quit smoking. How to use help self hypnosis scripts. How to cure impotence with hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> How to find the only one accredited hypnotherapy school? <laughs> God damn it. How to teach hypnobirthing techniques. <laughs> what? <laughs> How to convince someone that your business is not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> how to use the pyramid scheme business model? <laughs> uh, uh, how to prepare to uh, run for political office. And how to run for governor. How to deport an immigrant. Oh God! Okay, how to just, find out if, that's what governors do. How to find out if something is illegal before doing it? <laughs> how to hire an attorney? Uh, how to defend against embezzlement charges? <laughs> how to know your rights if you're convicted of embezzlement? <laughs> how to deal with being in secure? In how to deal with being in a low security prison? <laughs> how to get an early release from prison? How to sue a prison? <laughs> How to take a case to the Supreme Court. How to win court cases. <laughs> Once you actually got to the Supreme Court, like I should. 
how to repair one's public image like Tom Cruise. <laughs> how to be remembered. How to prepare for death. <laughs> how to listen to death metal. How to go to heaven. Yay. Yay. How to go to heaven. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> We fucking did it. Dinner, 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 dinner. I'm going to give you uh, just a minute to uh, uh, put in uh, whatever donations you need to finish up there. Um, because uh, Yay! That, that total is going to uh, to be uh, called at this moment. Uh, Hello. Uh, anything we learned? What, did, what have we learned this day? Over the, over the last 24 hours, is there a uh, resounding uh, piece of knowledge that you've taken away from no much as <laughs> Keep going. No matter how much we press the word E, it doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's I've a been letter. pressing E. Other people have been pressing the word E. It just keeps e. going. How bad, how, as bad as like shitty, like bigoted anime forums and Ernest Klein and... Uh, snot fetishes and stuff are people hate like hate that stuff less than not allowing women to get health care <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. not allowing anyone who needs an abortion to just get one it's really. a it's a it's a weird uh thing of optimism because i mean one of the things that uh that we've experienced uh you know on on both a macro and a micro level is that like the internet does uh you know combine uh the motivations of assholes uh but sometimes it it combines the motivations of cool people too <laughs> yeah. or at least people that are cool enough to like this dumb shit <laughs> Mm -hmm. and give money to it for such a good cause and that's that's truly humbling and and really and the fact that we uh more than doubled the amount of money oh, from last shit, year you're right you know yes. we did over double it yeah I didn't so it so so great and thank you to every single person who even tuned in everybody who it's it's amazing thank you yeah yes yeah i want to i want to corroborate that because i i just i learned that um the people watching the people reading, doing art, everybody donating, everybody has been great. The past two garbage days, but this garbage day, I learned that uh, I can still be surprised and blown out of the water because like when <laughs> the donation for the Ernest Klein came, the thing came in, I was like, I, I think we'll get to it. We're doing good. Everybody's, you know, awesome in the chat, but it's like, you know, maybe it'll take a little while. Maybe it'll be at the end of the thing. And then it happened in like five minutes and that like just, and there's been moments like that through this whole time of like just generosity and everybody being great and funny and it's all uh, y'all are awesome. I just no, for sure. Like, like, and I, I, I end up in situations where I'm, you know, I, I talk to like, you know, fucking professionals with the giantest scare quotes, right? And 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 every once in a while, I'll be like, oh yeah, that thing you do, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, the dumb thing that I do, and they're like, yeah, yeah, the dumb thing you do, and I'm like, well, actually, no, it's pretty fucking cool though. <laughs> yeah. Um and uh and uh boots, I love you. I I love really you do. too, Lemon. I <laughs> really Gen do. Genuinely, I do. Yes. Um, he. Uh, uh, this. This. This is a piece of work uh, that has a bunch of shoulders to rest on, uh, but the the broadest of them in this case is Boots Rain Gears uh, mm -hmm. together. Um, some things uh, that I'm going to talk about in just a second, um, but uh, you know, a lot of the stream. Uh, there's a collaboration. Sanguinary Novel did such an amazing uh, bit of prep work too. Uh, she was involved at a whole bunch of steps. Uh, all the. I mean, you know. I don't want to get Oscar speechy, but you know, uh, everyone involved here uh, made this thing happen, and uh, and I thank you for it. Yep, and even after this is over with, if you want to, you know, this will be done obviously in a few right. minutes. But um, spread the word of the charity to everybody yes. that you know, and yep. have them donate too, because this charity uh, it even says on their website that they could definitely use more money. Yeah, uh, to help everybody out. So, yeah, and they, but they they also recommend uh, a, a set of like sort of direct charities that you could also donate to. Yep. Um, so I'm yep. going to be moving garbage day or sorry garbage dot live uh, away from the streamlabs. It's going to be going uh, back into our uh, what it was before, which is just sort of like everything tagged garbage day. Uh, so. Uh, if you do want uh, additional uh, money to go uh, to the NNAF or uh, any other organizations like that, uh, please just give to them directly. It doesn't need to go through us. 
uh, anymore. Um, one thing uh, that I don't think I pay quite enough attention um, that I think I want to close with, if that's all right with you, is uh, Boots, do you think it would be possible to just get a medley uh, to play us out of literally all of those songs? Yeah, so like, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's probably going to be like, 12 to 15 minutes long so we can just sort of walk away from it as a place sure yeah no you don't need to stick around uh we are closing garbage day uh thankfully and humbly but uh, But i'll cue them all up okay (laughs) thanks everyone thank you so much thank you thank you bye we did it (laughs) yay I made this garbage day for you I hope you brought your garbage too You must have something left for me Some terrible things to read Granny squirt on the mic. I am backed up by DJ BJ in a three way garbage day 2019, hour three, the funny music project. And we're gonna start things off right with our first song. This one's called I'm Saying a Bunch of Sexist Things, but an ironic way, which makes it really funny. One, two, three, four, boots, boots, come on, boots, boots, this will be funny, boots, please come back. Come on, I swear to God, this will be fun. Come on, please. All right, come quads up. Just introduce whoever is going to talk this hour. We're going to talk about smart moans now. I don't know what they are. Amy sent this duck to us. We brought him here to explain it. You're gonna learn about such a man's love to this man's media We're gonna revise such a man's wife in the song to media No big guys with great imagination will be doing your stories now As you're cold and he's with a rabbit and cutting his tail Put her in this matter, stop you in a thunder Caught her in the name of love
Show. Freedom Radio. All right. Freedom Radio down. Now I can. Oh, fuck. I already. Oh, God damn it. I already did Freedom Radio. Okay. It's fine. I can save this. I way to take my dog out to the ranch. I lift my feet and do a little dance. But when the government oversteps, I get started on my Tuesday prep. I'm a private citizen. I can self-suffice on my own device Like the Skipper or Gill again I can saute a rat And broil a bat With a pinch of cinnamon Doomsday Finally, now I can... No No, fuck Fuck, I gave Doomsday a purpose to Lemon Alright when I take my dog out to the ranch, I lift my feet and do a little dance. But when old Rex gets possessed by ghosts, I head online and write some posts. SpiritualResearchFoundation.com It's a real tough name to try to frame in the rhythm of the song. You can stand defiant for pseudoscience when everything you say is wrong. Hippie bullshit. I thought maybe you and I could form some kind of intentional community. We could have free flowing wine, flying cars, and none of our parents to keep us down. We could stay up late and point lasers at skyscrapers, move our bodies instead of these gross ones mixed coating with vodka. Ice cream for breakfast, and I was become a little on our SAT scores. I'll be the king, and so will you. We will have children, and we'll also call them the kings. Six day weekends, weekday orgies, but bad Sundays, all this just for you. It is a pain, or is it not? Or is it not? I don't know what it is. But you better come over here and clean it up. 
Was the day of garbage, and our man Jack Chick was pouring some liquor and pouring it thick. The graphic tea strewn round the bedroom all over, in preparation for tomorrow's hangover. He knew that he had to perform one last task, before he could don his PJs and night mask. A task lay before him with mysteries flowing, the unknown rhymes and complete disregard of reasonable scansion soon to be showing. Would he be reading about Slipknot and corn, adult babies, and tentacle porn? Could be an ode to Shannon Doherty? The limits are endless with bad poetry. He wanted to run just as fast as he could to an isolated place in the wood, or an igloo, a mountain, the sea, or an isthmus. For this was the second night of Jack Chicksmas. Gonna tell ya all about my man Adremalek Apprentice to a necromancer with a tarot deck He's gonna summon all the metal gods of yesterday That's just the kind of shit he gets to on the day to day He's always asking for advice on the occult forum And taking off before the membership can reach quorum And if you're guessing that his name is spelled with an umlaut Well then you're wrong and now it's time for intros by Kumquat Yeah Uh huh Shit Shit. Fuck. God. Oh, crap. If you're having friends for dinner, you should be the greatest host. Hungry little girl will show you every single thing to feed them that looks gross. Take it down nice and low. We're gonna go where libertarians go. Rebirth of reason is the site for this hour. Randy and men with superpowers. Movie reviews and shitty jokes. I'm sure you'll find they're very likable, folks. Brought to you by content generators. The less by Ethan and Heaven Aider.
Well, hello, my name is Boots, and I'd like to tell you about a man. His name is Brett, and he has a lot of things to say about the way he changed the world to meet his vision of a perfect future. His thoughts on laws, his thoughts on sex, his musings on philosophy. There's some questionable things he wrote, and we'll skip them because they're gross. But that doesn't mean he's not a man we shouldn't admire, is it? He will teach the world how to make itself better. It's Brett.